The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. I've been asked by several people to talk a little bit about the work of Alan Andrews with his parallel channels and also a little bit about Elliott Wave. Uh, folks, I started looking at uh, Elliott Wave stuff before uh, it was in the 1970s with John Hill. He was the first one to talk to me about it because he, he featured it in, in his book, uh, Commodity Trading. Facts, I think, was the name of it from 1966. And then also he, he also had the parallel channel stuff that was in there by Richard Wyckoff and also by Alan Andrews. Well, when I was trading in Chicago during 1982 to 1984, uh, about once, a, at least once a month, I would take that seven-hour trip from Chicago down to Hendersonville, North Carolina, to stay at the ranch there. Which on usually I came down on a Thursday or Friday, and I stayed till a Monday and Tuesday. I usually made it about a four-day trip, and we worked on a lot of different things. Uh, one of these things was these parallel channels and stuff, and basically that was the way. Later on, we figured out that was just the normal harmony of the market. You can see both of those charts up there that this gentleman uh, sent me have all these different things of support and resistance. He he didn't put any Fibonacci numbers in. Uh, he didn't put any ABCD markets in, but he was doing it by looking at these parallel channels, which is a great way to trade. If that's what you like to trade, then, then that's just fine. I try to keep it as simple possible using an AB equal CD pattern. Um, also, on one of those trips, uh, John Jr., who was going to Duke University in computer science, was there in the room with us, and uh, we were talking about the opening price, and John says, I can program that if I can get the data. And so we got the data from the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. Me being a member, I was able to get it for free, which is a very good price. And so they ran, I think, about 30 years of looking at the opening price. Uh, this was on commodities. We didn't do it on stocks. Stocks actually worked better because at that time, stocks opened exactly at uh, you know 9.30 in the morning in New York. And uh, that made it real easy for the opening price to work. The problem was later on when we had the SOS bandits and stuff, when they started getting the bids down to decimals, uh, the market was open in inter hours. In other words, it would open in long two or three hours before the market opened. Now, many of them, like the futures, are open basically 23 to 24 hours every day. So that changes the value of the opening price, but it doesn't take it completely away. The reason why is, folks, if you'll start to look at the range of where the opening price is in that first hour, that first hour is the key. That's what it appears to be the magic time, but that first hour is where you want to be watching. So if the market is above um, the first hour's tr high, any time during the day, you want to be long, and if it's below that, you want to be short. That's that simple, and it'll get you in the right direction most of the time. So anyway, they wrote a Toby Crable wrote a book, The Opening Price Something or Other. I don't remember what it was called, but it's on eBay now for $1,200. <laughs> you can get it free for me if you ask for the book because we wrote The Opening Price book in 1980, and it's in a paperback form and uh, sold a lot of them. And that's been a very good book, but uh, 1200 bucks is a little high for saying buy above the opening. Sell below the opening. One second here, please. By the way, I have never met Toby Crable. I, I know John Jr., of course, but I don't know Toby Crable. So anyway, that's pretty much it. Now, the second question that I'm getting is about the Treasury bond, boys and girls. Uh, I, I spent a lot of time over the weekend. I sent several videos out on it. Uh, I'm watching these Treasury bonds and Treasury notes with a great deal of uh, incentive because I think we're getting ready to have one of the strongest uh, short covering rallies that we've seen in a very, very long time. Now, I'm going to post the chart here on the bonds because I want to get it down here so you'll be able to see where we are. This happens to be the uh, weekly chart of the bonds. And that we're looking at both bonds and notes here. 
Okay. Uh, hold on. Get it up here. Right here. See where we are. Okay. We got that one in. Okay. That's the bond chart. You can see we have a, a much lower target down there at 135. We're trading about 140 and change right now. If you go down to, I, I don't want to spend a lot of time going into the dailies and stuff because the, that the people that get the 24/7 newsletter have a little advantage of where that is. But look at this. This is the weekly chart. But look at this pattern here, folks. This is a one, three, five pattern. When I posted it, they, these one, three, fives shifted. But there's one, there's three, and there five. They're all they're related to swings. In other words, this swing right here is 618 of that one, and it's also 618 of that one. So you got multiple time and price levels coming in at that price that's why you know if you start to look at those they, they they really do pop up more often than you think both on the upside and the downside so if you'll pay attention to that and many people you know we were extremely bearish at 0.5 that's when the fed came in and said, yeah yeah we're thinking about interest rate drops but not right now that was way back in march I, yeah it was march and from that point on, it has been straight down. We're down eight weeks. That This is the ninth week. We're coming into some really strong resistance uh, support levels, in my opinion. And we should get a very, very substantial rally. We haven't hit those levels yet, but we're getting very, very close. And the close may, may or may not be good enough. But the thing is, if you look at these patterns and just trade what you see and not what you think, which is not an easy thing to do, uh, you're going to be okay because you you don't know what's going on out there. The news that comes out, either in financial or political or entertainment, all of that stuff, I don't believe any of it. Most of it's there to pull you into the thing, and that's why uh, I think it's – What's the, we have a caller on the line, I guess. Thank you very much, Al. I appreciate it. And who am I speaking with, please? Larry, it's Larry from Cheyenne. Las Vegas? How you oh, doing? Cheyenne. Hi. Hi. Been a while. How you doing? Well, you remembered. Thank you for that. I listen to you every day, and um, I'm calling in about natural gas because uh, I know how you look at fibs, but I don't know what you do exactly with them. And um, on the monthly and the weekly, the RSI is not as strong as the previous swing high. Yeah. And it's, on the weekly, it's coming into a 1.618. And on the... Uh, Daily, the ABC up is nearly 2.61. You know, it's a two, sure. 261 percent expansion. It's also in a Tom DeMarc nine or a seven count today. So, my question is basically, Larry, if you would you uh, ever have the guts to short something like this when it <laughs> simply because it touched those Fibonacci number areas with a Tom oh. DeMarc nine count? Yeah, I, I do have I, I do have the guts of the intestinal fortitude to do it because I do it all the time. The reason why is, Larry, I have uh, I put a stop in. You know, I, I'm wrong a lot. You know, I'm wrong probably 33 percent of the time, but I'm right 62 percent of the time. So that's what saves me. What saves me is I put that stop in. Let's say natural gas. I can risk five hundred five bucks in natural gas without too much trouble. But yes, I will do that trade absolutely. Interesting. Thank you. Thank you, Larry. Thank you for calling in, Larry. Barry, the 1.618 is that key number. Watch that one. We'll be right back, boys and girls. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and uh, I posted a chart of the natural gas up here, as you can see here. Uh, you know, we were looking for a potential 1.27 expansion up there at a little around 8. Point two, the market gapped up five dollars uh, Sunday night and then rallied five thousand dollars. We're almost at the eight thousand, excuse me, eight dollar mark here. Pretty soon, we were just talking to Larry on uh, from Wyoming, and we're looking at possibly twenty dollars higher and maybe even more because this thing is crazy. But you know, it's got it follows the number sequences very well. And so, you know, at that 1.27 level, at 8.2, you don't have to risk more than about $500. Because if it gets past that, then, you know, there's something really wrong, and, you know, you just have to stand aside. But they follow the sequence of numbers, and uh, they're certainly very, very strong today. So uh, I would highly suggest you keep an eye on this natural gas. My game plan, you know, down at the bottom there, you couldn't get anybody to buy it. And that's where the ABCDs ended down there at 3.7. And then you can see the 50% retracement that was there, just absolutely perfect. It breaks out of there, and away it goes. So th those are just things that uh, you pick up by just looking at the chart and saying, yeah, it looks like it might do this, or it looks like it might do that. But you never know. But you have to put the stop in because these patterns, you know, they fail a lot. And when they don't fail, of course, what happens is you're going to be looking at something that uh, is a little bit different than you might think. So you got to be really, really careful because these things can run like crazy, especially with all the news that's in there. You know, and if you think this is something, wait till you see these grain markets, folks. These grain markets are poised to go a whole lot higher. And by golly, you know, you can't stand in front of that either. So pay attention to it because uh, there's some great moves coming here. Now, regarding another question about the bonds, I also suggested the people to look at the notes because the notes are a little bit less volatile, but uh, that's the largest of all the commodity markets we trade are the Treasury notes. And uh, I, that's we're talking about the 10-year. That's the one that gives you your credit cards, your auto payments, your mortgages. They base that on that, and rates are going to go higher. There's no question about it. We have gone seven standard deviations beyond the mean in these interest rates, folks. That's how much they've jumped in a short period of time. And part of that is they're thinking about inflation all the time. But, you know, that doesn't always happen. Getting, getting back to the inflation, Larry Williams sent out a really cool chart here. 
I'll get it up here in just a second here, and we'll take a quick look at it. Uh, now, how do I do that? I do it this way or that way or this way or that way. Hold on one second. I got to figure out a little strategy here to get where I want to be. There we go. And then I'll get that inflation forecast, which is right here, I believe. And just a second here. And remember, these also are ideas of where the market may or might not be at any particular time. But if you uh, hold on just a second. There we go. Coming up right now. Okay, now you'll notice that this is the cycle for inflation. The thing to look at is look how accurate it's been on some of those sharp peaks down. And look, we have a big shark, sharp, shark, sharp, S-H-A-R-P, sharp peak up to the upside. So that's, that's where we are. This is where we are right now, folks. We're right in here. So don't be surprised. And realize we've, we've taken out all these from the recent years. So we could extend you know, far, far beyond that. But we also have to be looking at it because maybe some things will start to turn down. But so far, that has not happened. But it's been a pretty good indicator. The one indicator that I feel strongly about, and that is that there is going to be a strong rally in these interest rates just to scare people because it's been too easy look at the bond market folks that i posted it's been down eight weeks in a row with virtually you know no bounces i mean that's the best thing you can do is just hang on and hanging on is not easy to do by the way at the break our our guest is going to be paula douglas and uh, she'll be talking to us uh, about some of the things that they talk about especially the the four fears and so that'll be interesting on uh, Wednesday, we have Stan Harley. On Thursday, we have Tim Bost. And on Friday, we have Jim Bartoleone of Bart's Chart. So we've got a full week this week, which will be a lot of fun. So we'll keep uh, watching as we go. Another one that Larry sent to us, Larry Williams sent to us, and I, I love Larry's work because he, he does a really a lot of research, folks. And that's what makes this stuff so interesting. Let's get this up here. And you'll see this is a cycle forecast for the gold market. I believe that's what we're showing. There's we, there's where we are. Hold on one second, folks. Folks, the the uh, this is April, and the Palo Verde trees are in bloom, and they do not like me. So bear with me one second. Okay, you can see the cycle forecasts have been relatively good, and he's thinking that the really good buy in gold is going to be down here in mid June. Is where he thinks. I don't know if that's the price. He just says the time he thinks is good. Now, today, we hit a pretty big move here in gold. In fact, I wanted to go over that gold chart just to show you, you know, how I handled it because I uh, wanted to show you, uh, and I, hold on one second here. There we go. We'll get it up here in one second. All right. All right. Here's where we are. Here's where gold, and I sent a thing out. We, we, we shorted gold at 1980. Uh, right right in here is where we sold it, 1980, right there. It went down to 1960 on a fast tick. Couldn't get out because we it missed our orders by about a buck and a half. And then the market went back, and I had my choice of putting the stop at either break even or at the old high right here. So I choose to, to give it a chance because I respected the A, B, C, D. There's a beautiful A, B, C, D stopping right there backs off twenty dollars okay i respected that so i said okay i'm going to put my stop just right above there that'll keep the loss very very small four bucks boy it opened lower folks it opened down at 1975 and then in a matter of seconds it was trading at 1980 and at that point i i couldn't even have a chance to change my stop or move anything it went straight through hit the 84, taking me out, and then went all the way up to this next level that we were looking to uh, to go short, which was at 2009. Well, we only got to 2003. So that's 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 a 618 would be the, the, that number of 2009. So I, I didn't get anything on that. It had a small loss. Now, I – well, hold on one second. I want to get a couple other things done here first to show you some of these charts that we're looking at because I think they're – where some of these things are great inf inflection points, and one of them, this is this is folks, this could be the best buy of my lifetime, and that's a long time. <laughs> Hold on just a second, and I don't trade this stuff, but I'm getting ready to, and I'll tell you why. All right, this is the, this is Bitcoin, okay? A B C D at sixty nine thousand. 
That measured to 69,000, by the way, folks, if you want to defy human nature and do the work. You take B plus C minus A, and that'll give you that number right there. That'll give you A, B, C, D. If you do it mathematically, you add B plus C minus A, bada bing, bada boom, there's your number right here. But here's what you're looking at. A, B, C, D. This is a 382, folks, right here. That's a 382, and that's an A, B, C, D. We's going downtown. We get down here, boys and girls. Call Santa, because it's Christmas Day. We'll be right back, 877-927-6648. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Well, with a little bit of luck, I hope we have Paula Douglas on the line. Paula, are you there? Yes, I am. Hey, that's good. Well, this, miracles do happen, don't they? <laughs> hey, yeah, especially on Mondays, it's a miracle. Yeah, that's good. I know you, you're doing you're doing a lot of work and stuff. But you had this dream of always uh, working with the, uh, you know, the uh, police forces and stuff. And tell the folks uh, what you've just had happen to you. Uh, I think it, I think it's spectacular. Uh, but tell the folks what what's going on over there in Palm Springs. Well, a couple years ago, after moving here, uh, I took 
uh, I attended the Community Police Academy for Palm Springs. And basically what that is, it's a 16-week course to see, to tell you about law enforcement and to see if maybe you want to work for uh, PD or the sheriff's office or whatever. And uh, I met a great instructor there. He's the range master for the PD and he's a gunsmith. And then my girlfriend and I took classes from him and now we're pistol packing mamas okay (laughs) but in the meantime i mean you know given world events i mean you know she and i are both widows so you know we just want to be protected and then they i heard that they were needing volunteers at the uh, county riverside county of riverside sheriff's office so i went through that academy and got bedded and they didn't find any of the skeletons in my closet thank goodness and a couple weeks ago i graduated from the academy as one of the chaplains meaning ordained ministers for the sheriff's department out here Uh, and that means i support the deputies or go out on ride-alongs um mm. and just you know help support the community as in as an independent minister you haven't yet had to have had to do any uh funerals or anything like that that you've done before is that correct Oh, I've done a lot of funerals before, but mm-hmm. just not through, you know, law enforcement. Not through the sheriff's but, department. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. well speaking of uh, pistol pack, mama, what do you see here in the markets? What, uh, what you remember, I'll, I'll, let me, let me uh, just bait you a little bit here because we've been, you know, together for so many years. But I remember Mark was saying the three, you know, those four big fears that uh, you know fear of missing out the fear of losing you know all that stuff is uh you want to tell the folks a little bit about that sure um and and as you as you know larry we've been hearing a lot about this especially lately um with current world events and i know i've said it previously but if you truly believe there's always opportunity in the market this this we can't bring home you know more more than today because before all of the pandemic and all that kind of, before 2020, let's say, you know, you could kind of skate along and say, well, you know, there's, who knows what'll happen tomorrow. We'll try again tomorrow. Let's say you get out too early or too late, or you don't get in at all because you don't want to lose. But since 2020, our lives have been turned up upside down, our financial lives. And we are living in a world climate now where we do not know what's going to happen in any given moment. And so the underlying fear of not being able to make money or enough money as a trader is really been enhanced. So the challenge is, is that how do you block out the world events and still be an effective trader? And one of the ways is you have to understand that, you know, when you have your your edge, that is nothing more than an indication of a higher probability of one thing happening over another. That's it. So getting back to the roots of becoming a successful trader is you really have to understand how to think in probabilities, meaning you don't know what's going to happen in the markets. We sure as heck don't know what's going to happen in the world. And so you have to have that mindset of thinking in probabilities in every area in your life, not just with trading. And that's that's what makes it difficult because we've never had to do that before. And and I'll be yeah. honest with you, last summer, I mean, I went through some challenges, you know, freaking out about, you know, lockdowns, pandemics, whatever, the market falling, whatever. I mean, I'm I'm human. I'm normal. Mm-hmm. So I've been there. But what I did was I went back to rereading, you know, our book, Trading in the Zone. I got to say, it is kind of the, you know, the Bible here and just reset my mind refresh it you know just like you do on your computer and get back to thinking the basics of thinking and probabilities and when you really truly master thinking and probabilities you're not going to have any fear yeah i know that's for sure i remember sitting here at the desk day after day listening to mark talk about that and some of the real famous people and you know not so famous people would come in and but the famous people had one thing in common that mark talked about is there uh, both of those four fears the one they hated the most was the fear of missing out they always right. believed they should buy at the low and sell at the high and yet they made a lot of money in between which <laughs> that that's what was really uh, really amazing to me but 
that boy we, we had a bunch of famous people come through these doors here in tucson didn't we <laughs> yeah a lot of a lot I mean, of fun and and the fear of missing out is is just unresolved memories of mm-hmm. other opportunities that traders may feel that they didn't take advantage of yeah. whether it was a, a a job or a promotion or a relationship mm-hmm. and so they want to make up that void by taking as much money as they can out of the markets <laughs> subconsciously yeah. it, i'm not talking about you know yeah. it's not in the forefront of their thoughts but it's there and so yeah. that's one of the things that we teach is helping you understand what's in there limiting you and then we de-energize it and then you go on your merry way and you become a millionaire trader a super trader yeah. as we would say yeah, that's right. We've been friends with a bunch of them over the years. Paul T, when you've got new traders coming in, you know, people that are having problems, I mean, you know, some of them even don't even have step one or step two, what they decide, you know, how whether even sh- what I'm stumbling because I've had these Palo when they when they start blooming like, you know, they do here. And we've got oh, three yeah. of them outside. Today they were waiting for me. So I'm really <laughs> having a little trouble. But uh the uh, when a, when a new trader comes in, the the last thing they think about after they lost money is the psychology part. If they would think about the psychology part before they started trading, they would save a lot of money and make it a lot easier. I mean, yes, they would. Don't, don't don't you have something for beginning traders that if they're having trouble to give you a call or something? Because if they do that first and this trading second, it's it's a whole lot easier. Well, absolutely. I mean, as you know, there's an open invitation. It's all over my website and uh, YouTube and all this. I have an open invitation to all traders, whether they're newbies or, or you know, professionals. Call me yeah. for a free chat. You get a free chat with me. And yeah. we can usually identify most of these limiting beliefs right in that 30-minute yeah. chat. And it's free, 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 okay? No cost. Yeah. Money I will not back follow guarantee. up with a sales pitch, okay? Okay, that's good. <laughs> so, but the but the other part is that, you know, even though people out there claim, oh yes, you need the psychology of trading, they don't mm-hmm. push it because they, 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 I would say a good seventy five percent of the industry still feels you really don't need too much trading psychology if you have a good system, you have a good edge, yeah. and you can follow your rules. Yeah, and that, well, and that may be true, but. Not really. <laughs> Not based on <laughs> the numbers of people that contact me. So, yeah. you know, it's the, trading is a 100% mental game, period. Yep, 100%. Stay with us to give us your information on how to reach you, okay? Okay. Okay. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. 
Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with a 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. We're talking with Paulo Douglas of uh, Paula Douglas Incorporated. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? She's a, she, everybody knows that she's Mark's widow. Hey, uh, Paula, how do the folks reach you? Where's your website and the way to give you know to call you and stuff? MarkDouglas.com. That's the easiest way, and it go, mm -hmm. to, goes right to me. Or you can go to PaulaTWeb.com. Either way, you will find me. And please do take advantage of the free chat. It really is a good thing, and that may be all you need, and that's what I'm here for. That's what I enjoy. I love hearing back from traders saying, hey, thanks for the, the general discussion. You got me back on track. That's what it's all about, guys. Okay, yeah. Don't be uh, afraid you, to call. Yeah, I know you, you two have never been in it for the money, that's for sure. Anyway, right. we're going to have you on again soon. I've already had responses here. Keep her on regular, so we'll uh, we'll try to sign the long term contract, but don't negotiate <laughs> like you like you usually do with me, okay? I'll <laughs> hey, try and the, cut you the, a oh, deal. Hey, I have a I have a, a big a big memory. Uh, Easter Sunday, of course, was Sunday, and uh, both mm -hmm. of my children, you know, she, they used to come over uh, to Arizona uh, for Easter. Remember that? How what wonderful Easter's you used to have up oh, there? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. my God, that was so much fun. Mark Mark would barbecue a pig, and uh, it was. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, he always yeah, did we were best. together almost every holiday. Yeah, every holiday. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Until sorry past. I moved to California, but I thought you'd follow. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I can't. I'm too old to move. <laughs> okay. Well, let's hey, listen, work on doing a workshop together soon. Oh God, okay? yes. That was that was. Do you, I'll do you come know over that there. was 28 years ago? We did that one here. That we had all wow. the traders here and stuff. My God, that was so much fun. Yeah, I well, think we'll that think was when I was like 15. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you were 12, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, PT. Hey, listen, we'll talk to you soon, okay? All right. Talk to you, you later. Thanks, guys. Yeah. You bet. Bye -bye, Paula Larry. Douglas, folks. Um, really a stand up young lady. Let's put it that way. Okay, let's take a look at this chart. I still, can everybody see? I guess we can still see the. Uh, um, this ABCD that we have here in Bitcoin. I want to give you a couple of heads up on this. We got the big move up here. That was the high. We came down. We rallied up to the 382 of that number, and we did it with an ABCD. If we go below this number, that sets up Bitcoin at 20,000. And at 20,000, what you want to do is turn around and look far, far to the north, up there at the North Pole at one Santa Claus Plaza, because if we get down to 20,000, some of these little uh, smaller coins that are selling for four or five dollars will probably be about 50 cents or a dollar. And there's only, now there used to be thousand of them, and I, my little bird has told me that there's really only about a hundred that are in the running now. They're dropping out so fast, so that's one of the reasons why these things are coming off a little bit. So if it gets down there, and if, if it gets to 20,000, remember 20,000 was the whole high when they came out, you know, when they came out at, uh, what's the name of that darn thing? Um, oh, shucks, I'm trying to look, I'm looking at Skype messages, and 
we'll, we'll see uh, we'll see what it does here. But um, what was that? Uh, I, there was a word that they had here. And it was one of the crypto words I can't quite remember. But anyway, if we get down to that level down and I have never traded the cryptos ever, but when we get down there, I'm going to. And uh, that twenty thousand was the old oh, for for uh, the word I was thinking of was going being listed at the CME. Remember they had the contracts that started in January, uh, three years ago. So and they came out right, they were right at twenty thousand. So that they would be bouncing off that old high, and that would be a big retracement from the you know from from two hundred bucks up to sixty four thousand on a log scale. That'll be about a three eight two retracement. So we got to watch that one. That's my number one thing for the year to watch is that if that hits, because um, that could be a really good one. Well, just one second here, please. Oh, dear, you should see the pile of birdies. We had so much rain this year. These train they are so beautiful. I should take some pictures and show you. Yeah, I'm going to, to show you that, but uh, that they're right outside the door. But after a couple of days, it, it calms down a little bit but that's neither here nor there all right so that's where we are here with the bitcoin now i wanted to go into one other one here i will have several others to go to but the main one folks is the that those of you that subscribe to the 24 7 wait for the price level in the bonds and the notes they haven't got there yet they're very very close the notes only missed it by two ticks i still think they're going to get there so leave your order in there and wait till you get filled and then you, you'll be far better off than if you just try to pick a blow down in here and think that's going to be it. Wait till it gets to that number because at that point, the risk control on that is going to be very, very easy. So I, I think you've got to uh, you know pay pay attention to it because it's important one to you know to really watch. That's uh, that's very very important. I want to get the other one up here one more time. I wanted to show the uh, the bonds right here because the bonds. Oh, that's the wrong one. Oh, man, alive. Man, you know, I think I still have a little jet lag after those 12 days over in London. Boy, boy, was that fun, though. Oh, my goodness. I just can't get over the, how much fun we really had. Um, okay, let's move here to one second here, and we'll see what else we got. Um, well, let's look. Uh, trying to fill in here. Got two minutes to go, and I just let's get to the futures here because we're seeing the uh, natural gas explode. But another one that is really taken off now again is we're starting to see big movement in some of these things. Uh, wheat is uh, really rocking and rolling here today. Let me get this chart up. It's it's up a little over. I think it's up almost 80 cents. Uh, which tells you that you know we're starting to see some of these commodities, and we're in the midst of the uh, the, the crops are grown you know, implanted now, and so we're gonna oh dear hit the wrong button shut the front door and raise her in. Sorry boys and girls, let's try this one here. Oh, what did happen here? Uh oh, now I lost my Discord button. That's not good. Uh oh, I see what happened. Hold on just a minute. Take the screen. Nope, I got, oh, I'm having a rough time. I don't know if I'm, I can't see where I am on this thing, folks. I just don't understand it, what, what's going on. Let me try it one more time. <laughs> oh, man, oh, just a second. Oh, dear, 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 dear. Uh, let's see if the truth, the screen has changed any. Oh, uh, yeah. I think so. Maybe this will be it. Hopefully, I'll be able to see this. I think you can see the wheat now. We went blasting through the 382 uh, last night on the opening, which told you we're going to go a lot higher. That was a, because it stayed there for, this was a daily. It stayed there for two days. And then Sunday night, when the weather report started coming in, it took off and it's trading you know, way up into this area, almost at the 50% already. So that was telling you that it wanted to be, uh, you know, heading to the downside. Now we had this level here was very important, of course, because that was the 50% of the whole move way back here. So that's where we were, that we had the little move up here and then the ABCD. And uh, it, if the weather was bad, it would be down here. If the weather was good, it took off. And so that's how it took off. So that's either here or there. Well, Hopefully, I will figure out how to use that host host thing, but I still don't know how to do it, and I will try to figure it out. Tomorrow, uh, we don't have a guest, so we'll be right back, 877-927-6648.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. Okay, folks, I posted a chart of the E-mini S&P, and people have asked me, my bullish or bearish, folks, if you listen to what I say each day as I say these, I mean, look at these. These are no-brainers, folks. You have a two-day rally, a two-day rally, and a two-day rally. All of the ratios fit right nicely. This was a 382. Today, the rally went slightly above the 382 up there at uh, 404. I think it came in at 302, was, I believe it. 382 was at 397. 44.97, .97, and we got as high as 43.04. But uh, this is this is nothing more than a bearish market rallying two days, rallying two days, rallying two days. I mean, this is headed lower. The reason why this line, red line, is here because this was a failure. There's one, three, five. Right at that 50% level was the one three five pattern, and it failed. Once we went up above that. That told you that you were going to hire. That's why when these patterns don't work, you know, and people say, gee, you know, you're, when you, you should just reverse on all of these. But I'm not, I don't reverse trade, folks. Mark tried to get me to do that for two years. He threw up his hands one day. He said, hey, you're making money. Do what you do. And I said, yeah, I know it. But I have people telling me that, you know, my goodness, these, these things, when they fail, you know, look really, really great. You know, that's uh, that's the main thing. Second question somebody asked, we were very bullish natural gas, uh, you know, several months ago, you know, late February. And, and what we were watching there was the fact the market was making a big double bottom. The question is, you know, we, we said it was going to go higher, but where did we get out? Folks, I went as high as 450. That's that's uh, That was a 
that was a, a big move, and that's where I thought it was going to go. Now it's at eight something, so I miss a lot. Do I worry about the fear of missing out? Not one bit, not one bit. That's for sure. It, it just doesn't make any difference. You just move on to the next trade. I'll see you folks tomorrow on the sunny side of the street here, Tucson, Arizona. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. Remember, our guests are going to be Tuesday, nobody. Wednesday, Stan Harley. Thursday, Tim Boss. Friday, Jim Bartolioni. See you all tomorrow, folks. Bye-bye.